Okay, this is not for the little chest girls. Y'all, it is your girl, my back with another video. And today we are doing a collective haul. For the past, like maybe month or two, I have been shopping. We're not surprised because this is what I do. And I decided I want to show you guys the items of Things from Zara, from Instagram places, from Aldo, from Burberry, baby, we got a little bit of everything. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with Zara first. Y'all know I cannot do a haul, I just, I just can't without including my good sis, Zara. So the first thing that I picked up is actually this black long sweater knit, there it is, knit. Dress, it is just a full length dress. I think it is just so classy, it's a basic. I mean, it's just a black dress, girl. But everybody needs this with some leather high knee boots, baby. Grown woman, classy, that girl, that's what it's giving. I love anything with a high neck. I just feel like it just gives class. I don't know, it's like modest but sexy at the same time. This is a little bit loose on me. I did not try it on in the store because at the time of purchase, the fitting rooms were open. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just thank Jesus one time that they're open now, okay? Um, but yeah, I didn't try it on. It is a little bit loose fitting, but honestly, I don't mind. It just, it gives a little not so hugged feel. Not everything needs to be tight as hell. So I like it. I got this in a size small. The quality is amazing. It is super thick. It's not see-through whatsoever. It's also ribbed. And this was only $35.90. Because when I felt the quality, I was like expecting it to be $60, honestly, like that $59.90 range. But baby, it was only $35. So, girl, the sun is shining. I have my blinds down and it's still shining. Okay. I am mad at it though. I'm not mad. Then the next item that I picked up, which is actually the last item <laughs> from Zara, um, is just this white blazer. You guys have Probably seen this on Instagram already. I already posted a photo with it. And this was expensive. I got this in a size extra small, by the way. Um, it was $70. I was like, God damn, okay, sorry shit. You know their um, blazers are expensive, but they're really, really good quality inside. It's like satin lined. Um, it's thick. I don't know, it just, it looks good quality. It doesn't look cheap whatsoever. And it is sleeveless, which I was a little apprehensive about. So I'm like, a sleeveless blazer, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But clearly I liked it enough to buy it, okay? To spend $70 on it. Um, it's long, it does have an adjustable waist right here if you guys wanna do that. I didn't, I wore it open. Does have one button if you wanna leave it closed. But yeah, I just picked this up because I feel like even though it was a little bit pricier, it's a staple, you know? Like I'm gonna have this for years upon years upon years. Y'all know, I've been trying to build like a capsule wardrobe, things that I can wear 50,000 different ways, you know, that is actually worth my coin. I picked this up and I don't regret it, girl. I know. So the next items that we are going to talk about I purchased from Rouve. This is my second time purchasing from them. If you're familiar with the brand, which I'm sure you are, it's always on Instagram ads. They have this like cream jumpsuit knitted full body, full length, long sleeve jumpsuit that I purchased and I absolutely love it. Baby, I'm gonna run that back. Anyway, we're talking about this two piece. So I actually bought this um, or purchased it on Depop. I didn't purchase it from Rouve directly because it was a good price and it was never worn. I believe this is originally like $140 and I got it for $120. Um, it is just this knit two piece. So the first part is clearly a bralette, which I'm not gonna lie, this is not little titty friendly, okay? This is not for the little chest girls like me because your nipples will be showing if you are not careful and you are not conscious of what the hell you are doing. This is a one size fits all. So it's not something that you can adjust. It doesn't have anything. So you just kind of got to work with it. You can cross it in the front if you want to. So it's like, if this makes sense. If it's like, so it's like that. You know what I'm talking about. So it's like crisscross right here. And that does make it a little bit tighter, but I didn't want to do that because it would stretch out the straps if I want to wear it normal. But I think this is cute to just wear with like, another pair of trousers or to even wear with like jeans and a blazer. Um, so it's versatile, that's why I purchased it. And I don't know what the original price of just this alone is. I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks. That's my whole spill on this. So the bottoms, 
Mmm. Okay. I got a size small, which I typically am in bottoms. I'm like rarely ever an extra small because it will never go past my booty arrow. It might fit my waist. I'd rather have something that can actually go past my hips and just alter the waist versus just not having it fit, period. So I kind of always size up in that sense. And I got a size small, which is pretty normal, like I said, but the material for one, the crotch is like really loose. It's like really long. And then the waist is like, it, if there's not like an elastic band that's like cinching, if you know what I mean, that's not just gonna sit at your waist. So I might adjust these pants but as I walk, they're gonna start sliding down. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like an awkward fit. I mean, it looked well in the picture and photographed good, but they just, for the price of it, I want them to fit, baby. I want them to hit. I want them to hug. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, honestly. I don't wanna sell them because I think you can wear this multiple ways as well. Um, so I don't know, I might take this to get altered but i've never gotten anything knit done before so i'm sure they can do it but just keep that in mind girl i don't know these don't hug the body like i thought they were going to like that jumpsuit does okay i got a little piece happy okay the second little two-piece get up that i got is from giselle so if you guys follow Selle Duvall, i think that's how you pronounce her name on instagram she has her own brand where she sells swimwear she also did dabble into clothing a while ago like dresses and shoes but it's primarily swimwear which i have like literally five of them i love her teeny teenies okay and she also has a brand giselle i think it's with her best friend and this is like clothing based okay i was just randomly on uh, her instagram page and i saw this was on sale for twenty dollars i was like what because I think it was originally like $90, honestly. And I kind of know why, okay? I kind of know why. So it is this red two-piece, all right? It's showing up like literally fire truck red on this damn screen. Uh, but it's just like a, a true red and it's a skirt along with a crop top, kind of like bralette situation. You guys will see in the try-on portion and I love the way that it fits. Well, I like the way that it looks. Let me let me just say that. I like the way that it looks. But I'm not gonna lie, the material is like damn near see-through, it's cheap, it just feels like fast fashion material, which I was not expecting because her swimsuits and everything else that I've purchased from her or I've seen is such high quality. I I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what happened here. I'm still gonna wear her. I think I'm gonna do it for like, um, what is that, what's that day, what's that day, what's that day, for love? Valentine's Day, big sure Valentine's Day. Well, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But you, it, it's just, I hope I hope it photographs well. I'm gonna just say that because I was disappointed. But I only spent $20, so it's not like that big of a deal to me. I know it's still gonna look good because of the way that I'm gonna style it is gonna make it look more expensive. But the way that this feels, I was just like, you just went to Joanne's Fabric and just cut some shit up. That's how it feels, L literally. So keep that in mind, okay? I love her stuff, but maybe this, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going through your minds. I'm not sure this wasn't it, okay? Okay, guys, so the next item that I picked up, everything is kind of coming out washed on here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is this dress. It is very, very similar to the dress that I wore in Cabo. It's the same type of style, it's a halter neck, backless mini dress. Now, I thought this was gonna be like really cute for a vacation or even just for like a night at the club in the summer. I got this a while ago. I got this probably in like August or July. It's been sitting in my closet for a hot little minute. It's from Subline. I don't know if I said that. This is not my first item that I have purchased from her. So the quality is amazing. It literally looks exactly how it would look online. I just, I don't, with, with deep V, dresses like this and when you have small boobs i just feel like you need cleavage for it to look good for it to look sexy and i was like already hesitant on it and i got an extra small because of that so it wasn't like loose fitting right here but because i got an extra small like i was mentioning with that root two piece it is not it just the it just like sucks in my butt because it's too tight 
I just don't like, I don't like the way that it fits. I don't know. I really like the vibe of it. It's mesh, it's see-through, it's good quality, like I said, but girl, if you guys want big boobies and you want to throw them cleavage and you want to pop out, this is the dress for you. I had a vision and Unfortunately, we just we just didn't get there. All right, so the next item that I purchased is this Burberry bag. So it is just a shoulder bag, like so. And I was kind of like, mm, do I really like shoulder bags? Like, is that really my vibe? But when I got it, I was like, yes, this, this is me. This is me. I just think it's so versatile. It's, of course, all the neutral tones that you want. There's tan, there's cream, there's white, there's black. Um, and then of course like a little splash of red, the signature Burberry print. And I got this from Versatile Collective. I think that's how you pronounce it. Y'all know, I don't know how to pronounce nothing. And my memory is like down the damn drain. So I will link it down below the website. It's, it's basically like Depop. So it's not something that I'm literally gonna directly link this same exact item, but it is a second hand luxury online boutique or store. Now, not everything is actually secondhand. This was brand new. And y'all, guess how much I paid for this? Guess how much? I only paid $250. $250 for a brand new Burberry shoulder bag. And it's really spacious, very nice quality. Everything is real, everything is authentic. So let me just throw that out there. But I was looking at this bag on like Depop and that shit was like $500. I was like, I'm, I'm not. And Shaylin, hey girl, if you're watching this, um, she got a Fendi bag from them for like a really, really good price, so she plugged me. She put me on, okay? I love this. This is like the best $200 I spent because I know I'm gonna be able to wear it with so many things just because of the color palette. It's just so cute. Girl, I don't know what is going on outside, but chaos, chaos. All right, so the last thing that I picked up were these pair of shoes or heels from Aldo. So these are the Emilia heels in cream. They are just a strappy sandal. Y'all, if you watch my vlogs, you have already seen these, but these are the most comfortable heels I have ever worn, tried on, purchased. I don't know, although you did your thing, it probably, of course, has to do with the fact that this is not just like a stiletto skinny heel, it is actually like kind of a blocky heel. Um, the padding here is just super comfortable. The height of them is perfect. I really like how they have a square toe that's super in, I don't know, it's sexy. The fire, the, the pointed toe is, is, she's still that girl, okay? She's gotta be the number one and number two, but the square toe, she's, she's next. For me, I got these in a size eight and a half. They are true to size. And I just really like Aldo for all of its affordable prices, but like luxury looking heels and comfortable heels. They don't look cheap. They're not like a complete dupe, but they're close enough. They kind of do what Zara does. So if you guys don't shop at Aldo heels, baby, don't sleep on them. I think they were, these were only like $85. So until we get to the Bottega, baby, Aldo's gonna be that girl. She goes, she's still gonna be that girl, even when I'm here, okay? All right, you guys, so that is the end of my collective haul. I hope you guys got some inspiration. I hope y'all know what to buy what not to buy, okay? I spent my coin for y'all, so you don't have to go to the trials that I did. But everything will be linked down below, like I said. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Deuces.